and Z to contest the opening tip and win it for Stella Zora. Penetration inside, then hold it off to Nzi. He kicks it back out. Ball kept moving by Giordano. And the opening strike from Stella Zura. Put down by Pugliati. So, strong start for the Italian team. Barca looking to respond now with Bonilla. Back to Caicedo, who sends it cross court. But in the end, Bonilla just had it taken away from him as he tried to pass it back inside. So Barca get the ball back, but only four seconds on the shot clock. Caicedo falling away, rims out for him. And the loose ball again took a final touch off a Stelazura player. So it will be Barcelona's chance to get their first points on the board again. Shot is up and good this time from Bonilla. So Barcelona answering with a triple of their own. Three pointers to get this game up and running. A strong attack of the rim by Giordano, but he couldn't get it to go. The alley -oop attempted by Barcelona. It's worked out in the end for another three-point try that's an air ball by Ordonier. And then the whistle blown. A foul by Ordonier as uh, Giordano tried to make his way towards the basket. Very fast-paced start here. pair of triples to get the scoreboard moving. So Ordonez with the first foul of the game. Giordano on to Vicentin. That's a nice pass inside, but met at the rim. Strong defense from James Nyaji. He was able to get the block as Lucas Fresno tried to find the basket. Nyaji with an early statement of intent there. That was a very emphatic block. Delazura do get it back. Pass in from Fresno. Tough for Pugliato, but he's able to get the ball to the corner. The shot missed, though. Barcelona can't make anything of it. Turned over. And here in transition, a powerful attack of the basket and successfully converted as well by Matteo Vicentin. So Stelazola get their noses back in front. Rafa Villar hands off to Bonilla. Pass inside for Caicedo with the foul. Well, I think we can expect to see a lot more of Michael Caicedo. Took the contact from Vicentin and finished well. So Caicedo now will try to give Barcelona their first lead of the game. Something he's not able to do, but the last touch came off uh, Nzi. So Bas will have it again. That was the first miss of Caicedo from the foul line in this tournament. He made all 15 of his free throws in the qualifiers. Here is left alone on the perimeter, so he takes on the shot, can't get it to go. Rebound contested, won by Barcelona. Caicedo trying to drive through, and he was there to meet him. The shot and swished from the corner 
by Ordonje. So making the most of their second chance, Barca. And there's another block from Naji. But he can't get on that one. However, it's missed, but then the rebound is stripped away by Bonilla. And now on the fast break, it's VR who finishes for Barcelona. Strong response from Barca having fallen behind early. Great fast break there between Bonilla and Villar. Vicentin passes on and now Giordano is fouled by Caicedo. Sent flying to the floor. There was uh, Nicola Giordano. A lucky to keep the ball from the inbounds pass that was not really well controlled, but a steal very nearly for Casado, but it was just picked up again by Fresno. Stella Zura still trying to end this possession with the score, but the shot clock ran out on them in the end. Excellent defense from Barcelona. They nearly got a steal from Caicedo. Stella Zura were just able to keep the possession moving, but Germano D'Arcangel's team couldn't score at the end of it. Villar. Ordonez. There's contact inside as the pass was made. And it's a foul against Dumbia. Musa Dumbia, who's just come into the action for Stella Zura. Placing uh, Nzi. Nati sending the pass on to Villar, who's going to take on the three. Almost rebounded by Ordonia. But in the end, Stella Zura were able to Get the ball back. They have found it so hard to score inside so far. Barca defending with real intensity close to the basket. One of six two-pointers made by Stella Zura only. As a whistle blown here with Maglietti trying to make his way inside. It was Villar who fouled him. Fresno, Dumbia going up against Naji, kicks it out but straight into the arms of Caicedo, who can break, and he's fouled by Giordano. And Giordano knew that he had to make that foul as Caicedo had to dribble past him. Three fouls on both teams, we moved to the midway mark of the first. Quarter. Ordonev looking for Caicedo, who takes a tough one to gather, but he does it well. Double team kicks it back. VR takes on another three. Ordonev tried to turn it into a pass. They get it back. And there's the alley oop attempt that was too high for Caicedo. Rather nonchalantly done by VR. And now Stella Zura with Giordano. Exchanging passes with Fresno. Giordano trying to weave his way. Two defenders rising. And another one then from behind. Bonilla, they are protecting that rim so well, Barca. Especially the presence of Naji. They can't get past him at all. A couple of blocks from Naji already. Another one from Caicedo. As the whistle blown there on Fresno. So any more fouls now on Stella Zura. And it will be trips to the line for Barca. And Caicedo fakes the pass, steps back, looks for the alley-oop, and again they can't connect. This time Naji wasn't able to finish. Another block from Barca, this time Villar getting over. 
and leaping to deny Maglietti. That's four blocks from Barca already. Again, underlining just how intensely they're defending their basket. One of eight have been made now in, in the two-point range from Stella Zura. And it's been a while since they scored. They did lead 5-3, but Basra have put up a wall since then. Giordano. And Pugliati drawing the whistle as uh, Odonia is penalised for the foul and he is going to go off to the sidelines as that was his second foul so in for Barca comes David Castel now and to the foul line for the first time today goes Stella Zura with Pugliati Sends it long. A player with a very Italian sounding name, Pugliati. But he is actually Venezuelan. But the clue in the name is the fact that his grandparents are from Sicily. So, really, he's returned home by heading away from Venezuela to pursue his career in Italy. He gets that free throw to go. Caicedo spinning, turning, sends up a shot. Beautifully finished by Caicedo. Up to four points now. First player to score more than one field goal in the game. Shot from the corner is no good. Well, that's the only way they can find space. Stella Zoro with Barca. Defending inside in numbers and intensity. Caicedo kicks it back to VR. Up comes the shot. It's off the mark from Grania. But picked up and put in by Castel now. So two players have just come into the game. Grania and Castel now. Both getting quickly involved. Passes lead stretched. Called as Maglietti couldn't find his way forward. The foul, I believe, was on Dumbia. Timeout, Barca up by eight. Barcelona team who've been looking after their own basket so far today. Four blocks already by Barca, that was one of them by VR. Roma have found it tough to score. There's a three-point strike here for Ordonez. Helping to contribute to Barca's eight-point lead. 6-14. Change in the backcourt for Barca as uh, Agustin Ubal comes in, number 10. That one couldn't be gathered by Ian Granja. But last touch off a Stella Zura player, so it'll be Barca's ball. Uh, 
Bilbao gets the pass inside. Couldn't be finished by Granja. Off the mark with the effort was this in team. Following up to put it in though. A good finish inside from Pugliati, who's putting up the resistance for Stella Zura. Six of his team's eight points so far coming from Fabrizio Pugliati. And the player who, with that, has already surpassed his average for the ANGT this season. He does provide a bit of everything. 5.8 points, 4.5 rebounds and 3.3 assists on average. Already with six points today. I'll look for a lot more from Giordano, the leading scorer for Stella Zola with 16.5 points per game. He's scoreless so far today. Azubal goes to the line. Maglietti for Stella Zola going up against Dubal. Hands off to... A Ariola, who's just come in, the number 41 for Stella Zura. Good ball movement. Maglietti. Oh, nice pass. Excellent feed for Dumbia, who was able to dunk unopposed as the penetration from Maglietti. And then the fancy behind the back pass. That was outstanding from Lucas Maglietti. And for once, that creativity allowed Stella Zura to find some space to score inside, only their second two-pointer of the game. Then there's a travel call against uh, Ubal. So they're getting closer, Stella Zura. Back to a five-point margin and with possession now. That's a bit of football played by Caicedo. Pass came inside. Now Maglietti on the perimeter. Can he create again? Another block. This time Granja going up strong. He comes back for Maglietti to try the three. No good. Caicedo gets a strong rebound. Runzi having that shot. Really well blocked. Fifth block of the quarter for Barcelona. Air ball at the other end from Castelnau. Now Stella Zura. Again a blocked shot. Six now. Ubal this time. Going over the top with great timing to slap it away as Vicintin becomes the latest player to have his shot blocked a pass from Adiola inbounds to Maglietti he's going to take on the three offensive rebound and now an and one well picked up by Kevin and Z and for once they weren't able to block it strong play inside from Z who knows he's going to have to work hard for anything he wants to score inside today they were his first points, and he's got a chance to make it a three-point play as well, as the foul was called on Theodor Simic. And Stella Zura's improved defense in the last few minutes has allowed them to claw their way back. They're not exactly firing on all cylinders on offense, but they're doing enough to get closer. And Z's three-point play makes it now just a two-point margin. A minute to play, just over in the first quarter. Azubal sends a pass inside. Bonilla kicks it back out. Good ball movement, mid-range shot is up and good from Granja. So Barcelona finds some rhythm again. Just to keep Stella Zura at arm's length. Maglietti on to Ariola. Pugliati gets 
the screen from Munzi. Kicks it back. Shot clock low. It's got to go up. And they didn't quite get it away in time. More good defence from Barcelona. Vicentin in the end releasing the shot, but just after the 24 seconds had been reached. So, saw there a quick glimpse of Fabian Deja, the Barcelona coach, got to be happy with his team's defensive efforts in this first half. Six block shots already. There's an offensive foul here, though. I believe on Simic, which is his second. Theodor Simic hasn't been in the game for long at all. Only a couple of minutes already picked up his second foul. Last possession of the quarter for Stella Zura. Barca will get it back for a minimum of a couple of seconds. Adiola guarded on the perimeter by Castel now. Moves inside and makes a clean strike. Nicely finished by Emmanuel Adiola. Three seconds for Barcelona. It's going to have to go from Bonilla. And go it does. Beats the buzzer from long range. Gael Bonilla just helping to stretch Barcelona's lead a little further as we reach the end of the first quarter with his second three-pointer of the game, making it 15 to 20 for Barca at the end of the opening quarter. That was a tough shot to make, wasn't it, for Gael Bonilla? who increases his tally to six points, also has three rebounds from that opening quarter. He's the leading performer for Barcelona in terms of PIR with nine. On the other side of the ball, Pugliati and, and Z with a PIR of seven for Stella Zora Roma, but they're going to have to improve their shooting percentages. I care. We care. Do you care? Do you plant trees? We plant trees. Plant with us. One euro, one tree. gets involved in the planting. Right, back to the action here. With a five-point lead for Barcelona. Thanks to that buzzer-beating triple from Bonilla. Good hustle here from Vicentin. Barca were able to keep it and send up the shot. It's short, the three from Granja. Ubal now with a travel. That's the second time today that uh, Ubal has been called for a travel. And Barca are up to six turnovers now. That's one reason why the lead isn't higher than it currently is. Maglietti. Just surrounded. No way through. He wanted to penetrate, but he couldn't. Vicentin finds his way to the glass. Can't finish, but then the last touch off Bonilla. So it'll be Stella Zura ball. Mm -hmm. 
and Z going up against uh, Naji in the big man position. That's been a real battle so far. So Barcelona are having the better of it inside at the moment. And there's another good bit of defense coming in from Castel now, preventing the clean shot. In the end, the three on the buzzer is taken by Maglietti. It's off the mark. And there seems to be an injury here for Ubal as he got the shot away, seemed to land badly. And so the Uruguayan may have to take a trip to the bench. There is where he felt the contact. And indeed, he is not going to be able to continue for now. We'll see if we see more of him later on. Returning to the action is Rafa Villar. Maglietti checking out for Roma as the shot is up and good from Granja. Another three point strike from Barca, their fourth of the day. And the lead is back up to eight, which is the uh, joint highest of the game. Turning and twisting a Giordano and the leading scorer for Stelladora still not off the mark today. Villar. Nagy was fouled as he made the catch. The first foul of the quarter. Going against Nzi as... Uh, out comes Adiola. Into the game for the first time is Josis as there's good hustle here and an easy fast break finish for Vicentin. Nice Granja back for Villar, kicks it out. Granja wants another triple, and he's got another back to back three pointers for Ian Granja. As the lead grows up to nine, rebound well taken by Granja now, who's doing it at both ends. He goes in transition, feeds on the pass, and it's floated in by Bonilla. Transition, transition excellence from Barca. As Granja took the rebound, pushed it with speed, released the pass perfectly for Bonilla to take it. And he made no mistake, so Barcelona have a double-digit lead for the first time in the game. And some work to do now for Stella Zura just to keep themselves hoping in this game. We see again the contribution in the last few minutes of Ian Granja. A pair of three-pointers from him. And then the assist following the rebound with Bonilla finishing it. So Granja putting up some nice numbers. So too Bonilla who He's already closing in on a double-double with eight points and six boards. Gael Bonilla, the Mexican. Coming up strong for Barca. An important time now for Stelazura to try to respond. Giordano, Pugliati, back for Giordano, still looking for his first score of the game, and he's still looking. Offensive rebound is taken, and then whistle blown.
strong, strong take from Mzi. And the whistle is on Bonilla. Now there's a shooting foul, so Mzi can go to the line. He's made one of one so far today. Seven of 11 for the season from the line in the ANGT. This is two in a row there. Bonilla for Barca. Riyad. Double teamed and very nearly losing the ball, but the whistle was blown. Aggressive play there by uh, Rokas Josis. Picks up his first foul. Nadji. Foul on Stella Zura. This time it's Giordano who picks up his second. Fighting to keep up with uh, Villar. So two fouls on Giordano. Staying in the game, Caicedo's back in for Barcelona. Looks for Nadji. And he is fouled in the act of shooting. Continuing to enjoy a good tussle with uh, Nadji. Nadji inside will shoot the free throw. First points of the game, but he's put up some good numbers in other categories. James Nadji, a couple of rebounds, three assists, and two block shots before he even got on the scoreboard. Nadji doubles now up to two points. The lead just continuing to grow a little larger for Barcelona. Josis kicks the pass and. Takes a good bounce for Barcelona, who can now go in transition with Caicedo. Looks for the layup, doesn't go. And Z onto Justice. Now Giordano. Justice sends the pass on to Pugliati. Looks to cross over. Well defended by Nagy. Goes inside to Z, who is just crowded out there. Well taken and good balance from Castel now. Caicedo. Barca will slow it down. Go into their offensive set with Villar on the dribble. Nagy setting the screen. Castel now moves it on to Caicedo. Looks for the mid range. Jay, no good. And then Z taking the rebound. Well, they're not doing a bad job on defense, Stella Zura, limiting Barca to 30 points, but got to start scoring more regularly. They're not getting easy looks as Josip misses there. And again, they look for the alley oop. They're determined to find it, Barca, and again, they don't get it. Giordano in transition, gives it to Z. Now back to Giordano. They need him to get started. The leading scorer during the qualifiers yet to get any points in this game. Joss is just about able to gather. But only with the infringement. So Barca get it back. Another stop. Only two points have been scored by Stella Zura in this second quarter, nearly five minutes old. Into the action again comes Lucas Fresno. Thought they were going to get a steal. Vicentin coming to rip the ball away from Villar as he tried to escape the press, but the whistle was blown. So instead of getting the points themselves after the steal, Stella Zura now have to watch Villar go to the foul line because they're in the bonus.
First free throw of the game from Rafa Villar is missed. He's just 16 years old, one of the younger players in the Barcelona roster. Only two 16-year-olds, in fact, him and Naji. 17 or 18. It's a fairly experienced team at this level. Vicentin on to Fresno. Now Vicentin again finds space with the pass out to the corner and they get the three to go. Well, that's the way to do it if you can't score inside because Barcelona defending with such ferocity underneath the basket. You create space on the outside by kicking it out. And there's a lovely gather and finish by Nagy for Barcelona. Continuing his excellent game, his first field goal. The triple was from Maglietti for uh, Stelazura, incidentally. Mid range shot this time, no good. Taken by Villar. Happy to slow it down. And find Caicedo. He goes on the dribble away from Manglietti. Takes the contact and will shoot free throws. That change in pace. Very explosive to get away from Manglietti. And then the foul was. We saw, I believe, on Fresno. So Caicedo to the line. Off the mark. He's had a tough shooting performance today, Michael Caicedo. Only two of eight field goal attempts, and he's missed both his free throws now. He makes his first. Next four minutes needs Stelazura to go on a bit of a run here. Get it down into single digits before half time. Maglietti weaving away, finds Fresno. Back for Maglietti, and all he could do was quick thinking there to throw the ball against Bonilla, because there was nothing else on for him. He knew that he was going out of bounds. Germano Arcangel's play is really just struggling to find any inside penetration. Yeah, they can't even find the ball in bounds. As it goes across the court and out of play for a turnover by Stella Zura. And 3.46 to play in the first half. It is 20 to 34 in Barcelona's favor. been about defense for Barcelona. Stelazura only making six of 25 two-point attempts so far. They keep going for the alley-oop on offense that isn't paying off for them. It's about three or four tries they've had for it. Despite that, the shooting percentages are pretty good for Barca. 7 of 14 from two-point range, 5 of 12 from beyond the arc, so a nice balance to the offense. Stelazura, Roma, so we're just 6 of 25 inside, 2 of 7 from outside, so a total of 8 of 32 of their field goal attempts made. And even my maths can work out that that's just 25%. They're not going to come close to winning this one if those percentages do not significantly improve. Villar. Bonilla to the right, Caicedo to the left. Look for Caicedo, but it's a game of volleyball before eventually Villar comes down with it. Caicedo goes inside. Naji taking the contact from Dumbia. Third foul on Dumbia. He's 
it's going to stay in the game, though, with instead uh, the introduction of Kaspar Kuzma, a Latvian, Estonian, excuse me. Get the Baltics mixed up. Imagine missing the first of his free throws. He's been a really towering presence for Barcelona in this game so far. Not just with his size, also with his ball handling. Which he tries to exhibit again here, and he'll go back to the foul line, having missed two. Had a quick chance to redeem himself. Zach Dumbier again. Yeah, it is. So that's a fifth, a fourth foul on Musa Dumbio. Will have to go to the bench now. With uh, Abiola coming back in. Also, an introduction for the first time of Nicolo Verdinho. How can he find his range, James Nagy? Three free throw misses in a row, and that's the start of thing, thing that can start to get into a player's head. Made his first two, but oh, of three since then. And four misses in a row. But he'll have a chance to find his range now because there was early encroachment. So try again, James. The officials are trying to find your way back. A bit of a full start with the throw, and that shows a lack of confidence in the shooting stroke. So four misses in a row, and that's uh, now been followed by a foul, so he's not having a good spell at the moment, Nagy. That's had a very good first half up until now, but maybe starting to get a little tired. He's been out there for a long time. And more than any other Barcelona player, in fact, more than 13 minutes. Kuzma worked on, and now the shot up from Virginio, no good. Caicedo with the rebound, and Bonilla pushes, finds Caicedo for the high-flying slam and the swinging celebration as well. There's the highlight real play that Barca have been looking for. Bonilla and Caicedo, maybe their most gifted two players combining. There's Nagy taking the rebound, but another sign of tiredness from him as he commits the foul on uh, the attempted shot by Fresno. And unsurprisingly, Nagy will go to the bench now, looking very tired with the reintroduction of Castel now. Caicedo also going to the bench as uh, Ricardo Martin in the game. No, Caicedo no, is still out there actually. He's just going for a quick chat with the coach, Fabian Tejer. Offensive rebound hauled in by Virginio. Caicedo trying to get the steal, just had the last touch in front of Kuzma. Two and a half minutes to play in the first half. Kuzma finds Maglietti. Nice pass over for Adiola, who goes under the baseline, looks for Kuzma, and just took the last touch off VR. So they are again being worked really hard, trying to find a shot. And they've only got three. 0.2 seconds left on the shot clock. It's going to have to go up. And it's in from Maglietti. Beating the buzzer and a much needed basket for Stella Zura. Here's Caicedo at the other end. Kicking it out for Bonilla. Back in for VR. Who will get the screen from Castel now. Lovely pass. And as Martin drove under the basket, the pass. 
kicked along the baseline, took a touch from Estella Zura hand. So Barca will get it back. Caicedo taking on the jumper, air ball. But they're able to get it back, they've got to shoot. One second, great awareness from Martin with the time, but he couldn't get it to go. So here's Adiola now. Martin left alone, doesn't want to take on the three. Now he takes on the long two and maybe should have trusted himself with the three points because that was a smooth finish from Adiola. His second score of the game. Still, though, no points for Giordano. That's one of the things that has to change for Stella Zura, get their leading scorer into the action. Pass there from Biar, too high for Martin. Turned over, that's been one aspect for Barcelona to improve. Ten turnovers now from the Spanish side. Maglietti, he's been a spark for Stella Zura at times. Who's not to Ariola? Go one on one with Bonilla. Finds a nice pass to Maglietti, who checks his feet. Misses the shot by a long distance, but following it up well was Adiola. Another basket for him, and with a minute to play in the first half, Barca won a timeout. The shot was miles off the mark from Maglietti. But look at the awareness of Adiola. Barca coach Fabian Tejet won't be happy that there were none of his players under the basket to gather that. But Adiola. Just pulling it back to a 10-point game, which is giving Stella Zura hope that they can yet be a force in this game. There was a period a few minutes ago where Barca get the lead, I think, up to 16. With the fast break dunk from Caicedo, and it looked like they were going to race away into an unassailable lead. But Stella Zura have rallied. Now a minute to play in the first half. They'll look to finish strong. This was that. Fast break, I mentioned. Caicedo scoring after hooking up with Bonilla. They've had good games. Caicedo, seven points, three rebounds. Bonilla, eight points, six rebounds, two assists. But since then, Emmanuel Adiola has helped pull. Stalazura back into the game. He has six points and three rebounds, and only six minutes on the floor. Might be someone that the head coach, Germano Darcangeli, looks to a little bit more in the second half. Villar facing a high press. Can he get over the halfway line? He can. Turned over, though, by Barca once more. Adiola trying to take it past the halfway line. Had VR in his face, last touch off the Barcelona player. But another stop there for Stella Zura. They've used different defence as well as Adiola's offensive output in the last few minutes to get closer. And if they can score here, they'll be pretty content to get it into single digits before half-time. Adiola. One with a hot hand, going up against Caicedo. The fake by Virginio, and then the shot is short. Gathered by Castel now. Caicedo gives it to Villar. Tough pass for Castel now to gather, but he does so. He's immediately surrounded, though, by two, and the fast break finish is not quite completed by Fresno. He was fouled. As he shot, wanted the and one there after Castle now was just bullied off the ball. I think the foul was on. Uh, was it on uh, Granja? Yep. His first of the game. No one on the Barcelona side is really in foul trouble. No one on more than two fouls. 
Still Azura do have Dumbia on four. That is an issue for them. As Fresno makes the first three free throw and the second. So they have got it back to a single digit game. Now Stella Zura need one more stop to enjoy a good finish to this first half. The shot is well short. They get the rebound and they've got plenty of time. Ten seconds. Fresno can give it to Maglietti, who will go one on one and now look to penetrate. Oh, lovely pass over the head. On the buzzer, the shot is off the mark, though, from Virginio. Well, that could have been a, a great last few minutes for Stella Zura. Not bad as it is, though. They were down by 16 at one point, but they've rallied well and trailed by only eight points at the break. As we reach the interval in this third game of the Adidas Next Generation Tournament Finals, Stella Zura 28, Barcelona 36. There's the statistical tale of the game. Barca with better shooting percentage teams will be in action. First, Barcelona trying to close this one out with their eight-point lead. As we come into the second half, it will be Stella Zura with the first possession. And interesting to see that coach uh, Arcangeli has gone with Adiola from the beginning. Nigerian number 41 had a good part to play in his team's comeback towards the end of the first half. Here he is again, getting the first shot of the second half. Can't get it to go, though. Caicedo rebounding. Full court pressure, but he escapes it with a great pass to Bonilla. And then the trailing dunk by Naji. Well, if Stella Zura's plan is to full court press on Barca, they found a pretty good way to escape it there. The long lobbed quarterback pass from Caicedo. Bonilla and Naji doing the rest. Here on crossover is VR. Hands off the pass, but doesn't find the intended target. As Stella Zura start with a couple of blanks on offense. So Barca emphasizing their position in the ascendancy right at the start of this second half. Safety first, just dry the floor so that Villar has clean footing. He sends the ball in bounds to Caicedo. Again, they press high up the court. Again, Caicedo evades it. And Bonilla now can find Naji. The pass to Caicedo, who's fouled on the way up. Good timing again from Barcelona. The release of the pass from Naji straight into the stride of Caicedo. And that's something that Naji has shown well in this game his ball handling his distribution he's a huge physical specimen standing at two meters eight but it's not just his size he's also a good ball handler which is in modern basketball increasingly a requirement for for big men the mere fact of being big isn't enough anymore Fresno pushing now as Stella Zura look for their first points of the half with Pugliati. Ariola back to Pugliati. Ariola forced into the tough long three. It's no good. Rebound then, though, is won by Stella Zura. Ariola penetrates this time. He's off the mark again, though, not able to replicate the strong form he showed at the end of the first half yet. As Bonilla here with the pass. And the attempted shot by Ordonia is swatted away. And then he had the last touch off his foot as he was under pressure from Fresno. Giordano still hasn't scored in this game, and that's got to change for Stella Zura. He looks to penetrate here, feeds it. 
Battling away is Pugliati, but has it blocked? Buster in transition, Caicedo, great rejection. Followed up, though, by Ordonev, who's fouled and won. They thought they had a block here. Well, they did, but it was what happened next. Ordonev following it up and scoring. It's pretty unlucky for Fresno, who was the one who made the block on Caicedo. It counted for nothing. And indeed, in the end, the foul will give a chance to Ordonev to make it a three-point play, which he does. So the lead goes up to 13. As Virginio here, nice pass. Oh, another big block. And again, it's Nagy, his third of the game. He has just been protecting that rim like a, a young Eddie Tavares. Such a dominant force in European basketball at the highest level, and Nagy's been similarly brutal to Stella Zura today. They had to get the shot away there from Giordano, who remains scoreless, and again, great timing as Caicedo flies to the rim. Beautiful bounce pass from Rafa Villar. Caicedo into double figures. There's the response from Stella Azura. Much needed. And score for Fresno, who now commits the foul as he comes across to make contact with Villar. So you've got a bit of a foul trouble coming up. Coming up ahead of them now with uh, Giordano and Vicentin on three fouls, Doombier on four. They bring Maglietti back into the game. In place of Giordano, no, no, he stayed out there, excuse me. It's the other one who went to three fouls, Vicentin, who goes out. Gail Bonilla, passing bounds to Villar, double teamed, they escape it, and here, trying to finish is Nagy, and a second time of asking, he does so. Picks up the loose ball after he was disrupted the first time. There, and he wouldn't be denied the second time around. The lead grows to 14 now. Adiola, another steal for Barcelona. Can he go all the way, Villar? He can! Right into the face of the camera as well, Rafa Villar. Having a fine game, scoring and leading the offence. That's off the mark by quite a distance by Virginio. Who remains without any points. And three and a half minutes into this second half, it is very much Barcelona rampant. They have turned the ball over here, but they've doubled the lead to 16. Stella Zura with only three points. And that came with a, a triple from Lucas Fresno. Other than that, nothing from the Italian team. Keep saying it, this man, Giordano, need him to start delivering. Still scoreless, and he's met at the rim by Nagy. Not sure if that will go down as a Another block, or just a missed shot. Yeah, he didn't get anything on that, so it's just a miss, but more good defending as they go for the alley-oop again. And again, they don't pull it off. Bonilla and Caicedo trying to combine. Here's Adiola. More active hands from Barcelona. They're so fast. And so quick to look for the steals. Two of them already today for Villar. 
Nash has three assists and five points. This time the whistle blown, and it's the first foul on Barcelona in this second half. It's Ordonez with his third. And so he will go to the bench for the introduction, reintroduction of Castel now. Shot is up from Fresno off the mark. Nagy rebounds his Caicedo. Gets the screen from Nagy. Now looks inside for the big. Oh, great steal from Maglietti. Really picked his pocket there. Sends on the pass, and the finish is good from Josis. Lucas Josis with his first points. Needs quite a lot more. Get back in contention here. Nagy going to post up, but was set, but that wasn't enough. Adiola's been called for technical here for flopping. And so, despite the questioning of the coach, Germano Davacangeli, it's a technical on Adiola, which is his first foul. Bassa Send Bonilla to the line. 9.7 rebounds, three assists for Bonilla. It's been an excellent game for him. It's not very good free throw shooting for either team, is it? But hasn't affected Barca. Nagy here. He'll have a chance to go to the line again, and he's been the biggest culprit from the line. Made his first two, but then missed four in a row. The whistle was blown there on Dino Bosevski. And it's Barcelona in full control. This second half has been all theirs. Only five points have been mustered by Stella Zura. 33 to 48 is the lead for Barca, who are regular contestants in the latter stages of the Adidas Next Generation tournament. They won the title in 2016 overcoming uh, Sevena Zvezda on that occasion you see some of their highlights Caicedo has been active as has Villar probably the, the three players most highly rated four passes are Gael Bonilla, Rafa Villar and Michael Caicedo and all three of them have delivered today, that's for sure. And uh, as I was saying, Barca title winners in 2016. They're also runners up in 2013 and 2008. So they have pedigree in this competition. They've already won the qualifying tournament in this arena in Valencia at the turn of the year. So they'll be feeling good about playing in La Fonteta. And actually, he's not feeling good about free throws at the moment. That's five misses in a row for him from the line. And that is something when the games get tighter, as it gets Closer to the title, and they're going to have to address, but when he can pick it up and throw it in like that, it doesn't really matter. He's up to 10 points now, despite six free throw misses. And the lead up to 17, midway through the third. Fresno to Jossis. Can't get it to go. Look at the hustle of Castel now, real determination. Caicedo's able to evade. The press moves into the Stella Zura half, the fancy behind the back pass. Worked over to Castel now, and now 
back to Ubal, who's back in the game for the first time in this second half. Ubal dumps it off for Caicedo, misses the three. Look at the effort from Naji to fly in for the offensive rebound. Needed Ariola to go up with him to prevent him taking it cleanly. It will be Barcelona's ball, but the reward for Naji is a rest on the bench. As into the action, again comes Teodor Simic. Bonilla draws the iron. Now, in transition, excellent finish from Maglietti. Used his body to create the angle for the shot with his right hand. And he's the leading scorer for Stella Zura now with seven points. Ubal to Bonilla. Kick back out by Simic. Ubal with the long two is good. And that's his first field goal of the game. Nice pull up and finish. Josic, this is a foul off the ball, I think that's on Fresno. If so, it's his fourth. Oh no, it was Adiola, in fact. Fortunately for Stella Zura, just his second foul. Giordano has come back in as Josic goes to the bench once again. So let's see if Giordano can get moving. There's the foul we have by Adiola. In the bonus already, Bass have only committed one foul in contrast in this quarter. Nicely worked. Granja back for Ubal. Rolls around and out. Rebound picked up but not finished by Simic, who remains scoreless. Maglietti to Ariola. Ariola gets the screen, but he's met then by Granja, so passes it on. Fresno can't finish. Comfortable, uncontested rebound for Simic. Now Granja. Oh, lovely inside passing. And with the putback in the end, it is finished by Simic. He gets his first points, having missed the initial effort. Great ball movement, though, from Barca. The last of those passes from Ordonier. 19 points to lead now, the highest in the game. Adiola able to find the open. Giordano still can't score, and I think his lack of confidence showed in the fact he didn't take on the three. Here's a transition for Barca. Easy finish. Well, it should have been, but he blew the layup there, Granja. Could have gone up to double figures there. Now the foul on Ordonev. Fresno tried to get past him, and as that's his fourth, he'll go to the bench. Pugliati and Unzi coming into the game for Stella Zura. For Barcelona, Ricardo Martin is in for Odonia. Travelling is the call against Giordano. Just really struggled in this game against Barca's excellent defense. Giordano, 0 of 9 from the field. One assist and three turnovers now. Martin. Bonilla on to Ubal. Martin. Able to find the pass into the corner, but it's ripped away from Granja. And in transition is this Giordano, finally! Well, now, will that be the start of something? And his first points of the game will be a weight off his back. And good defence there from Maglietti, slapping it away. And drawing the contact. And the other end will lead Stella Zura to the foul line. That 
was Martin who was whistled. So Pugliati had the chance to add to his six points. It's been poor free throw shooting from both teams. Four of nine, Stella Zura. That four of ten, as bad as Barca. Seven of 19. Short, fast a fast break, two on one. Bonilla finishes well despite the presence of Maglietti. So Bonilla up to double figures in scoring now, He's one rebound away from a double double. Giordano he finds some confidence, shovels the pass through. Uh, just surrounded there again, Barca. So tenacious on defense. Three point shot is off by Granja, but they get it back. Here's Ubal. Barca can slow it down. Granja moves it on to the corner for Martin. He can't make it. Offensive rebound taken by Simic, but has it immediately taken away from him. Again, the active hands of Maglietti. Fouled by Bonilla. Second foul on the Mexican. <laughs> who didn't go far short of averaging a double-double in the qualifiers. Nine points and seven rebounds. So he's outperformed that today. With so far 11 points and actually did just pick up his 10th rebound. Also has four assists as well, so excellent game from Gael Bonilla with a double-double. Kuzma is back in for Stella Zura. Last minute of the third quarter. The foul is on uh, Granja. takes them into the bonus now so Giordano continues his tough evening and continues the tough times from both teams from long range sorry from uh, foul shot territory it's really poor has to be said from both teams in the 30 percent on free throws Hasn't affected Barca, but if Stella Zura had made better numbers from the foul line, they would be in much closer contact. Ubal to Granja. And it'll be free throws for Barca now after Giordano is whistled. His fourth, so he has to step out, does he? No, he looks like he's going to stay in there. So a bit of a risk being taken by coach uh, Dark and Git Jelly. I think there's something wrong with the rims here. It can be the only explanation. We've got opposing magnets on them to push the ball away. Yet another free throw miss. Ubal infected by the disease this time and again. But Stella Zora unable to grab in the rebound. Last touch was Pugliati. 20 seconds to play in the third. Turned over by Barca. Loose pass from Granja. And then taking it all the way is Unzi. And one, which in this game means it probably won't be and one but he's got the chance at least from the foul line Kevin and Z with the finish can he escape the, the free throw bug of course 
not. One of four for him now from the line today. Five of 14 in the game for Stella Azura. They have to defend now for five more seconds, and they do so. They get the steal, and nothing will come of that from Maglietti. End of the third quarter, and Barcelona have been able to stretch their lead. They did so in a hurry. It was really in the opening minutes of that third period that they pulled away. Stella Azura haven't really been able to get closer. Ten minutes to go, it is 40 to 56, Barca ahead. Some of the highlights from the third quarter for you there from La Fonteta, the Adidas Next Generation Tournament. Eight of the best teams in youth basketball gathered for the right to be crowned champions. That will happen on Sunday. The title game will take place between the winners of the respective groups. This is the opening game in Group B. And it's Barcelona dominating it. Turned it over there though with Granger just stepping on the line. So Stella Zoro will have the chance to strike first. Nicolo Giordano hands it on to Maglietti. But there's a breakdown between him and Kuzma. Maglietti diving inside toward the basket. Kuzma thought he was holding his position wide. So both teams turn it over at the start of the fourth quarter. Villar back to lead the Barcelona offense. I mean, he's done very well today. A high pass from Kaiser is a good one, and there is Naji to finish again. He's been such a consistent presence for Barca today, up to 12 points now. He's made all five of his two-point attempts. As the shot is missed, picked up, and a hope and heave well off the mark. Stella can't get moving on offense. And time rapidly running out now. Barca really have been comfortable in the second half. And Nagy looking for the alley-oop, but he misses that one. <laughs> it's about the sixth time today Barca have tried the alley-oop and failed. Kuzma, Maglietti, looks for the pass, and it's Z. He can't finish, but then tipping it in just about was Pugliati. I think it was his score. It was Pugliati rather than... That was Kuzma trying to get the steal, but he just had the last touch as it goes out of bounds. Back
back in comes Fresno for uh, Stella Zura. Now Rafa Villar. Caicedo with the spin move on the baseline, finds, finds his route blocked, tries to kick it out, but it's turned over to Giordano. And now, well finished by Kuzma for his first points. And the Barca coach, Fabian Tejev, says that's enough of that. We're just letting them get a bit closer. The margin cut to 14, consecutive baskets there for Stella Zura. Good pass from Giordano and a good finish from Kaspar Kuzma, the Estonian. And Barca just wanting to make sure that they don't get sloppy here and let things slip. Still in the commanding position, but still plenty of time. No doubt they'll be looking for defense to strengthen their position in the game again. If you followed this tournament throughout the season, no surprise to see Barcelona's defense being the foundation of their success today. During the qualifiers, they won their three group games, conceding only 50, 47, and then 50 points again. And then in the final, they won 79 to 55 against Juventud de Barcelona. So never allowing more than 55 points in a game in their four qualifying matches. That shows what this team is built on. And it's been evident again today, especially in the first quarter where they were blocking anything that came close to their basket. They're up to eight blocks now. As Ordoniev is dispossessed, Caicedo battling for it, does well to wrap the pass. On to Adonis, back for Kaiser, who takes on the three, doesn't make it. There's Unadji with the rebound, trying to find his way to release the shot, doesn't go. Kaiser can't grab it. Naji, all sorts of activity underneath the basket, ends up not going for Barca. Pugliati in transition. He can't score either, but the whistle is blown. That was a frantic passage of play at both ends. Ended up with the foul being whistled on Bonilla, his third in the game. He has a double-double already and Nagy isn't a million miles away, 12 points and seven rebounds for him. Uh, Pugliati goes to the foul line and this weird series of misses continues. It's in an awful game of free throw shooting from both teams. Pugliati, one of five. Ah, oh, there's one. That makes a nice change. Both teams in the mid 30%. Expect that from three point range. Never mind the foul line. VR finding the pass to Bonilla. Baseline. And Nagy taking it and drawing the contact mid flight. So as he returns to ground, he'll go to. The foul line again. It was Nzi who is whistled for his second foul. Now Nadji. He's missed six in a row from the foul line. He just doesn't look to have any confidence now. I mean, it's strange because he made his first two. He's actually missed uh, seven in a row, but eight in a row if you include one that he was allowed to take again because of encroachment oh that will do him good give him some confidence he has had a very good game overall that's just the, the one uh, negative for him free throw shooting Giordano sends a pass on to Fresno looking inside for Unzi there's another block from Nagy this is fourth of the game Caicedo going in transition. Barca can slow the game down now. The lead has been chipped away up by Stella Zura. It's 14 now. Barcelona with nine blocks in this game now. 
the dribble VR. Caicedo goes baseline. He's fouled as he does so. Fresno, his fourth. So they've got Giordano and Fresno both on four fouls. And both in the game. Naji hands off to Rafa Villar. Back to Caicedo. Who's had a pretty sh poor shooting game. That one's missed by Villar. Caicedo made four of 16 from the field. Giordano on to Kuzma. Giordano with a nice pass for Kuzma, but it's off the mark. Recycled by NZ. Giordano will have a go from three. No good. An easy rebound this time for Bonilla, who almost lost it with uh, the activity of Pugliati. Yeah, that will go down as another block shot, won't it? Bonilla got something on that, I think. Very low scoring fourth quarter so far. Four minutes played, only 5-3 partial score in Stella favour. Bonilla trying to change that here. Doesn't do so with the three. Nagy is there again. And again, he's fouled, so he'll return to the free throw line. He'd much rather. It was only an and one. And having to earn them from the line, but another rebound for him as he edges closer to a double-double. 16-year-old Nigerian, James Nagy. Yeah, that's good for him. Two in a row now. 13 points, 14 points with that. And eight boards, five of them on the offensive glass. To go with his four block shots as well, and three in a row. So he's rediscovered his scoring stroke from the foul line. Shot is up and no good from Pugliati. He had made his only previous three-point attempt. Okay, Sado hasn't scored for a while. And for VR goes cross court. Oh, lovely feed, and it's given back to Bonilla, who's fouled by NZ, and that'll be his fourth foul. Great ball movement and patience from Barca there. Nagy having the awareness just to give it to Bonilla. And so Kevin and Z, four fouls for him. They've got four players on four fouls now. And three of them are in the game. It looks as though coach uh, Darcangeli is going to let them stay out there and until they no longer can. And Z, Giordano and Fresno all on four fouls as Bonilla continues the improvement from the foul line that we've witnessed in the last few minutes. Makes both of them. And the lead is once again starting to look unassailable. If Stella Zura had gone on a little run here to get it back to 10 points. You never know, but instead it's gone the other way. Barca moving it back up towards 20. And there's a whistle on Pugliati. Just pushing off. Midway through the fourth quarter. Caicedo has seen a lot of action in this game, nearly 27 minutes. When he has had 28 minutes, he's having a rest at the moment with Ubal. Back out there, here's Caicedo. Grabbed by Fresno, and I think that'll be it for him. His fifth foul, and so he's out. No more of uh, Lucas Fresno, the Argentine, in this game. See the reintroduction of Rokas Josic. 
Lithuanian back in action. As Caicedo goes to the line. Oh, they're knocking down all the free throws now. They'll be up at 50% in a minute if they're not careful. I think this is uh, five in a row now. Six in a row converted by Barca. And it's with those free throws that they are edging closer to victory midway through the final period. It's a 20-point lead now. Surely Barca have got this game in the bag. Part of Barca's dominance has been their rebounding. 47 boards to 33 claimed by Barca today. Bonilla with 11 of those, as we see there. Eight apiece for Nadji and Caicedo. Very strong rebounding team, Barcelona. James and Nagy has been the leading scorer in the game with 15 points. Barca have three players in double figures. Bonilla and Caicedo as well. Stella Zura haven't got anyone up in double figures yet. And a real feature of the game has been the shot blocking abilities of James and Nagy. Four of them for him. To go with four assists, eight rebounds, 15 points. Very strong all round for him. So into the final five minutes. The shot is up and no good. Rebound contested. The officials want to work it out, they can't do so, so we're going to have a jump ball. Barcelona, as I mentioned, have been shot blocking for fun in this game, especially in the first quarter. They had five in the first quarter alone. They're not going to get to the record by the look of it. The most blocked shots in an ANT, ANGT game was 14 by Nanterre in uh, a game against Castelmont Zaragoza. Last year, that one. Barca with the nine today. There's a whistle blown under the basket. And I think it's a foul on Simic. He was all over the back of Nzi. <laughs> Not looking particularly positive about things, is he? The Stella Zura coach, Germano Arcangeli, head in his hands, can't bear to watch. And there's another miss there. Barca would like to set themselves the mission of keeping Stella Zura below 50 points. As Simic there is penalised. Stays at 20. Long shot is missed. Here's Caicedo spinning. Nice pass for Ubal. And he gets that to go. Caicedo with the good feed. And what he did well there was take the pass and spin immediately to release the ball quickly. And it was delivered a little bit behind him, but it didn't slow the momentum of the possession. Really well done by Caicedo. Shot is up from Pugliati and good. So he moves into double figures now, the first Stelazura player to do so. Simic is fouled on his way to shoot. So he'll go to the line. As changes are made by Stella Zura. Back for the first time since the first half is uh, Dumbia, who very quickly moved to four fouls, which is why we haven't seen him since then. 
Granja is back in the action for Barcelona with Caicedo on the bench now. Barca moving them closer to the win. They can start to think about the task ahead of them tomorrow, which is a game against the hosts, Valencia. The action gets, away, that gets underway earlier tomorrow, incidentally. We'll run through the schedule for the day in a minute, but here's Pugliati with an air ball. So tomorrow, rather than today, where the, the game started at midday local time. It's 9 a.m. and that is because Valencia Basket's uh, senior team have got a Spanish playoffs game here at La Fonteta in the evening. So the games are going to be played earlier on, starting at 9 a.m. to make sure we finish in time for that ACB playoff game. Simic got a chance to take on the long shot and makes it. Simic with a three, a rare three-pointer. We haven't had many of them in this game. But no hesitation at all from Theodor Simic to release that one. His first attempt from beyond the arc, and he makes it. Well gathered in by Giordano, who has to shoot on the buzzer. And it's another miss for him. Under shot clock pressure, really. Didn't have any kind of look at the basket. And he has fouled out as well now for uh, Stella Zura. So they're without Nzi and Fresno for the final couple of minutes. And this fourth quarter has really been, well, I was about to say, uh, a show of strength from Barcelona, and it is again here as Giordano is denied after he made a great steal. Tried to get away from Ubal, who got back to deny him, but with the foul, which means he is now on to two fouls, and uh, Giordano can go to the line. Saying tomorrow's action underway at nine o'clock. Sevena Zvezda against Chalgiris Kaunas. Two teams who have lost already, have to win to have any chance of staying alive. Then it'll be Asvel against Real Madrid. Today's two winners in Group A promises to be a really good game. And there's a, an easy finish for Castel now after a good feed. Barca have, uh, for the first time today, Martin Iglesias into the game. Number 44, given a chance to catch the eye. There's a three-point shot, is sweetly struck by Josic. Nothing but net there. And so at least Stella Zura do get past the 50-point mark. Simic. He's going to try another three, just made one, doesn't make another. And they can't get the offensive rebound either. Stella Zura going in transition and the shot up but missed by Areola. Barcelona's game tomorrow against uh, Valencia is the last one of the day. Tips off at 3 o'clock. The other game in the group takes place at 1 o'clock, and that will see Stella Zura back in action against Mega Soccer Bet Belgrade. Ubal to the line. Coming up very shortly, we'll have the final game of the day. The hosts start their campaign. Valencia Basket against Mega Soccer Bet Belgrade. 
I mean, to have better luck than their counterparts from the same city, Serena Zvezda. Hubal with the long pass for Iglesias. He looks for the audacious flip. And they do just about keep it alive. And in no hurry, Hubal will run the shot clock low. Finds the pass for Iglesias. He can't get the score, the rebound. He's grabbed by Simic, but then he has the last touch as it goes out of bounds. So that will to take us to the last play of the game. And I don't think uh, Stella Zura are going to make too much effort to score from it. Giordano happy just to bounce out the rest of the time as Barcelona confirm a commanding and confident win. One of the favourites for the tournament, showing exactly why as they overcome Stella Zura, 75 to 51. Strong performance from Barcelona, had three players scoring in double figures. Gael Bonilla with 13 points, he also completed a double-double with 11 rebounds and five assists. 16-year-old scoring that basket. James and Nadji was the top scorer. He had 15 points with eight rebounds. Couldn't quite get up to the double-double. He also had four assists and four block shots. And there were 11 points and eight rebounds from Michael Caicedo. Those three will be at the spearhead of Barcelona's challenge over the next few days. Also, Rafa Villar. Led the team well. The numbers don't really reflect it. Five points, five rebounds, three assists. It's a strong performance from him. So they're the quartet of players that Barcelona will look to lean on. And they were the quartet who got them. This win today, nearly all the orange on the right-hand side reflecting Barca's dominance. Look at the rebounding tally. 48 to 35 in Barcelona's favour. And they were very much worthy winners nine block shots certainly contributing as well one area they will look to improve is turnovers 24 of them